Oh, hi guys. That was so creepy. <laughs> Welcome to a good old fashioned haul lookbook. Even though it's getting a bit chilly out here, I was sweating profusely while filming this video. Even though I'm not ready to say goodbye to summer, these are some of the outfit ideas for the fall season. This video is in collaboration with Gentry. Her outfits, editing, and vlogs are so aesthetic and pretty. Today, we both wanted to show five fall outfits. I'll have her channel in the description box below. This skirt is a statement on its own, so I kept rest of the outfit really simple with plain black turtleneck and booties. This turtleneck is really thin and is a great staple piece because you can layer it up when the weather starts getting chilly. Just make sure you pull that thing down so that it gives a clean look. Elasticated waist at the back and the bow really cinches. Cin cinches the waist and the skirt has deep pockets which is great for awkward situation when I don't know what to do with my hands. These unmatched socks reminds me of this meme. I avoid going through the hassle of finding matched socks because at the end matched or unmatched it does the job. It like socks. This over the knee boots are not that comfortable but I will tolerate it because it is cute and gives me that boost of height. I just can't stop. This velvet headband is totally optional, but it does complete the look. It gives an illusion that I put in a lot of effort, but in reality, it's just the headband. For those who are still in denial that summer is over, here is a great way to transition your summer dresses into the fall season. This dress hugs the body in the right places and is not too short. I wore it on repeat this summer and I love the vibrant color, the cut and is really comfy too. I have the absolute worst luck with thrifting but got pretty damn lucky with this obnoxiously oversized denim jacket. I wanted the jacket in medium size for men but ended up getting in large. Also when you're bloated, this oversized jacket wraps around the lower torso and hides that food baby. My jewelry game is generally pretty weak. I wore these gold earrings and dainty necklace. I used to think that these dash shoes were ugly, but once I put these on, there is no turning back. I still think these are ugly, but now in a cute way that I do end up wearing with almost all my outfits. These socks are made up of mesh and does nothing to absorb the sweat or keep my feet warm, but it does add the curly touch to the chunky sneakers. This is a pretty low effort outfit for running errands and it's decently cute. These overalls make me feel like I can get anything done. There was one point I just used to wear leggings and hoodies for running errands or for lazy days, which is quite often, but last year I decided to actually wear my casual outfits instead of just hanging it in the closet. The only drawback about this overall is the straps. It is not adjustable. And oh, these front pockets too. Placement is just so freaking weird. Wear this overall with these white booties to match the color palette and wore my favorite safety pin earrings. For summer, I wore this overall with a bralette and for the fall, I, I switched to this top. This top is really thin and can be layered and for winter, I wore the overall with black turtleneck and tights for that layered and insulated coziness. Next outfit is not warm at all and it's a little fancy because of the satin like material but I thought it would be perfect for like date night or hang out with friends or just going out on a solo date. This top gives me a vintage vibe with the shoulder pads and pearl buttons. The shoulder pads makes me feel like I can kick anyone's ass and is a statement on its own. The drape on the sides shapes the waist and the elasticated back frames the back as well. These high waisted pants are like glorified leggings. It's really comfy and stretchy. These gold shoes are my absolute favorite and it's almost about to give up. I matched the jewelries with the shoes but to be honest, I wear these earrings and necklace with almost all of my outfits. I recently started feeling comfortable wearing crop tops in public. I decided I'm not taking this low esteem mindset with me this decade and I was still not ready to just give up on crop tops because the summer is ending. I paired the crop top with this corduroy jacket. I've been eyeing corduroy crop jacket since last year but never bought it because of the price and as soon as it went on sale, I ran to get it. Well, in the world wide web. This jacket is a bit cropped than I had expected and it's not too light or heavy and it has a baggy look that I'm really into. Wear this outfit with high-waisted jeans and this double o-ring design black belt which is a great closet staple and my 60 pin earrings. Since I'm massively indecisive, I pair the same outfit with white booties and white chunky dad sneakers. This brings to the end of the lookbook video. Do let me know in the comments below which one was your favorite. If you did enjoy the video, don't forget to like and subscribe and support the channel. And I will see you guys next week. Bye!